confirm it. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. At the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a bow. Oh. Men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be greatest of all times, but they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof. I'm sure no. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb. Came out of my mama with some running in the shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. Nah, 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 nah. Don't play with it, baby. Say, what you gonna do? They did not want me to go places for your plans like the gold place and the people in love with the whole squad Are you ready to told y'all that you better be running? I'm in my go yard when I walk in I know y'all telling me nothing I'm the man, mm, 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 suck it if y'all in denial I Team, we riding on it. Yeah. More action and love talk. I went quiet on it. Walk there with the whole team, and we riding on it. Hey, couple of bands up in my pocket. I don't want pussy and wild nonsense. We got momentum, don't try to stop it. Diamonds are clearer than my conscience. I don't let bygones be bygones. It's that's when I'm honest. Penthouse building reach heaven's heights. Now that's what you call a god complex. Remember the days I was down low when it was out cold, but I went out and got it. Look at my milestones, man. It feel like the Dow Jones when you look at my pocket. Look at the flex. Whipping the Teslas. I'm a mess, but I'm a fool. It's not a finesse. Oh, yo, stop it, quiet. Look at snow. I done got it. See my jewels, shining, shining. White diamonds, Miley Cyrus. Private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body. Young, hey. I don't know no better. I'm on this every day. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They went a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals are set to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. set and ready to get it started and off we go now from State Farm Stadium pulls it in at the 13 and not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line the Titans take over first and 10 at their own 12 yard line From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And 
that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Tannehill. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch. Take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And that's caught by Smith. The 40, 30, oh, 10. Man. Touchdown, Titans. Janu Smith, 89 yards. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he returns this to the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Shotgun now for Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Here's Murray from midfield. Open man is Kirk complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another first down as they call him. You know that was a pick, right? <laughs> keep all the receivers alive in a play never lock in on any one guy make sure you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup on first down drake and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 11 more on that one and another first down they're making it look easy out there another first down so so far on this drive let me do this little bit of math here four plays Three first downs? That's a pretty good recipe for success. <laughs> Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now on first down, Drake again. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. That good for 19 at a first down. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. 
Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start with a give to Henry, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Jordan Phillips is the one on the stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. It's caught on the right side. It's Smith. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Out of the gun, Tannehill. The open man is Smith. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. Yo, that was bullshit. Like, that didn't even make any sense. Nah, that was bullshit. Like, because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. 23-yard line. on the carry there and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game brings up third and six Seven seven. Our score after one. The score tied seven to seven. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Murray gonna throw. He's got his man. It's Williams. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish Here off this go. drive with six points. Go. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. three-yard line and no further they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker and what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys they'll go again from the three here on second and goal 
to throw. It's Murray. That's caught at the three. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this is no good. Close but he misses just left to the upright. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not got too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Right through him. Boom, bam, biff. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. It's a big run there by Henry. 42 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run with Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's brought down after a very nice game. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, Less can become more, and it was right there. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in. And the Titans have taken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Now this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Woo. 
We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. First and 10. Murray will give. This is Drake. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. And here's Murray on the keeper. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. And some space here. And he will finally be taken down at the Titans' 21-yard line. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied. And, he... and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray with a touchdown it. throw to DeAndre it. Hopkins. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Tannehill. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. They stay on the ground with Drake. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? 
That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Murray now. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Murray, nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 31 yard line. Here's Murray. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 34. The teams practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now Murray. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 30. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Ah, oh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski was the name for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a three-syllable word. Syllables, yeah. you, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. Right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Underneath here to Drake. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now here we go on fourth down with Murray. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the Nah, seat. nigga, you got nervous, boy. For third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more, and it 
you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. Second and ten, Tannehill once more. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Throwing on second down. Tannehill. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Yo, you see how they made me throw the ball? My nigga was wide the fuck open. They made him. That was retarded. Oh man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to give a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs in that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. First and 10 at the 40. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 14. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. From just shy of midfield, Murray flushed out right. He dumps it off to Dre. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. They run the counter. It's Drake. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. They'll run with Drake. Five yards. Now it's third and five. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take it. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Ooh. 
from the gun, Murray. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. So the folks on hand here growing a little restless with their kicking game. That's now two misses so far. And in a tight game, fourth quarter, the fans are the only ones getting restless, Brandon. There were a few looks of disbelief on that sideline as well. A nice run there on first down as Henry uses his size to plow forward. Call it a pickup of seven. Now, that's a 35-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second. From the 35 on second down. Tannehill and right side Henry's got it and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game and not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten they'll try and choose some clock with Henry and he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This one down near the 45-yard line. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second, as he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. They'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. That was my dumbass fault. I, damn. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. Short throw to Smith. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line. Thank you. We'll down. take it. So Thank you. We'll take it. <laughs> Yo, that bullshit. <laughs> Offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Tannehill able to find Henry out of the backfield, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. First down, Tennessee. Tannehill gonna throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10 now from the 27. third and five. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. And it's third down. 
Tannehill. Polluting the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. First down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Draw play. This is Henry. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Yo, Madden, Madden is full of shit, yo. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that was, you know, I wanted a touchdown, but fuck. I ain't giving you no more chances, though, but that's that was crazy. Yo, what the f Good game, Bum. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.